Hello everyone, welcome to the session on Tech Tablet with me, Abdunisa Begum. And today is going to be a very exciting session. We are going to create finally a Tableau dashboard. We have learned to create different charts using different functionalities in Tableau. Let's just go and create tab dashboard, right? So this is how a dashboard looks like, right? As you all know, there are several uh, charts involved and you, you can create a dashboard. Now, each sheet can be related to each other if you want to create a very um, meaningful dashboard. Remember, you cannot just get one sheet from completely another data set, another sheet from a completely different data set. And, you know, you try to create that uh, dashboard or, you know, probably use completely different columns in all of the data sets and try to create a sorry in all of the sheets and try to create a dashboard. You can create a dashboard, of course, but then that should look uh, what do you say? Meaningful, right? It should be insightful. Otherwise, what's the use? Now, let's start creating our worksheets. I'll just attach a data set and here I'll be using Global Superstore data set. Right? So, I have attached and I'm taking orders. Now, the first sheet that I would create is the revenue map as I named it. Right? And when I name it revenue map, you can understand I'm going to use probably different geographical, uh, what do you say, values. So what I'll do, I'll take the country of where, you know, where the sales happen and I'll put it in details. So you can see this. And then what do I do? I'll take the profit and I'll put it in the colors. And here you see, you see different colors. Okay, towards the blue, there is high profit towards orange. It's all negative. Right, there is no profit over there. Right? So this is how your chart would look like. Now it's up to you if you want to add some labels as well. But then, you know, adding labels to the countries will make it very fussy. So you don't want to do that. Okay, so while you just hover over it, you will get the country's name as well. Okay, so this is my revenue map that is ready. So profit in that particular country. Next, moving ahead, I want to create a filter here actually because I'm going to use a country which is going to be the common thing for all of my charts. So I have created a filter. Now what I'll do, I want to use the same filter for all the sheets using this particular data source. That's done. Now what I'll do, I'll select what are the different categories, right? Now this category type of chart, uh, product category chart, is what I'm going to make, um, what do you say, the filter. Now what do I mean by that? I'll let you know when we create the dashboard. So here I'm going to create a heat map. Category. Categories heat Okay, or you know, it's also known as um, tree map, tree maps, right? That's what we are actually creating. So I'll just take categories and I'll put it in. Mm -hmm. Where would I put it? Right, I'll just put it in. Okay. So now I also want the profit. Let's see what kind of chart does this tableau create for us. Is it the one that we want? Profit is done. Then I also have the category. It does not make real sense of putting it in this. And this one I want to create this. Right. I also want to see its color in different colors. So here you see three different categories of heat map. Or if you want to mention you can write tree map if you get confused easy. Right, so you have three categories over here. Moving towards my next chart, the next chart that I would create is a, pro, a pie chart using um, the years, different years, product line if I could say that. Now here, I have different years in my data set, right? It's 2014, 2015 I believe, so let's just take order date, 12, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Right, then what I'll do, I'll take the profit, okay, and profit would be this. What else should I add? Um, maybe 
I want to just show that I want to create a pie chart over here and then I'll also take profit and put it here but I also want to use different colors for the same right uh oh colors wouldn't be for this color I'll be using for the different products so what are the different products I have Product name would be a very difficult thing to do. I'll just select categories and I'll put it in colors, right? So this makes a lot of sense. This is how it goes now. If this is very small for you, press Control, Shift and B. This is how you increase the size of your chart in that view. So you have the chart here. Now it's up to you if you want to label it as well. I wouldn't want to label it. That will only further confuse me. So I'll keep this. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, then this is where I'll put it. And do I need this one? I really do not need this card, so I'll hide it. Okay, so this one should be enough. This is what this legend it's showing me blue is furniture, orange is office supplies, and red is technologies. The next chart that I'll use is I'll create a line graph where I'll be seeing the categories line graph. Okay, I'm seeing the category wise sales. So I'll take the first product order date. Or should I take the shipment date? No, I think order date should be in. And then I'll take the revenue in rows or the profit, I'm sorry. And categories in color. So you see, I, am, I have created different line charts. Again, how do I increase the size? Control, Shift, and B will help me increase the size of my chart. Okay. Again, I'll just, what I'll do, I'll take the legend and put it here. So this makes, definitely makes sense. Right? We have three different line charts as well. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a dashboard. How many charts do I have? Four. Revenue map, category stream map, product line by chart, category sales line graph. Click on the dashboard. Select the size of the dashboard that you want. Uh oh. Okay, so I want my dashboard to be big. Right, so I'll select the revenue map, categories. You can select the place of these charts that you want. Uh, and you know, you can select if you want the legends or you do not. I do not want them, so I'll be removing them from the dashboard. So this looks better. Now, I want what I want to do is I want to. I want these charts to look good. So how can you fit them? Either fit the width or entire view so that your entire chart is viewable here. Then you click on this here, click on, okay, so this map is enough for now, right? You can zoom in, zoom out this way. Now this one also, I would like to fit to width, entire view. Right, so you can see these three have changed its shape. Now this one also fits to entire view. It's already done. So this is how my map would look like. But then my dashboard looks like. I would also want to show dashboard title by clicking on this. So I get an option to create here. I want to create a dashboard. Mm, and what would I name it? Sales statistics, profit statistics. <coughs> profit statistics right now I want to make I told you I'm creating this stream app to make it a filter so here when, I, when you see this filter sign here click on it so now you have made this chart as the filter what happens now you know all of these these charts are related to each other in every chart I have used category right so here what I'm going to do click on technology so when I click on technology I'm seeing sales of these in these particular years okay and where are these more okay how is the sales going on over here so every other area here have lightened except for these right so how are the sales going on for technology for office supplies for furniture right so i have made this as a filter similarly but when you see that okay i'll just click somewhere Okay, now I just pressed escape, so the filter is removed. Now, what happens if I click over here? Now, when I click 
on this. Do you see other charts changing? Other charts do not change because this is not being used as a filter. But this is also not used as a filter, neither is this. But here you see this one changes everything. Okay. Suppose I do not use this as a filter. Okay. And I use this chart as a filter. What happens then? Let's try to see. Okay, so when I'm making this chart, the revenue map as a filter, it makes more sense when we are looking at these pie charts. So here, you're able to see the difference in the sizes. How you see it is happening, how is it not? Right, you can see the line charts also changing. Right, you can see the tree map fluctuating. So a good idea is to make this revenue map as my but then what am I making as a filter what dashboard am I creating all that depends upon the use of my chart or use of my dashboard why do I want to create that dashboard right so hope this makes sense to you now I'm sure you are able to create this dashboard on your own as well so go ahead and try something new and do let me know what dashboard did you create so this was the first dashboard and like I said I've named it as profit statistics right all right then all the very best everyone go ahead and create your dashboards happy learning